Hi my wonderful people, welcome back to the Phoebe Way. My name is Phoebe and if you're new on this channel, this channel is all about life in Germany, how to settle within Germany, what you should know, what you should not do, how to make life in Germany simply easier for you. As you may know, I am originally Ghanaian. I am a proud Saturday born. I am a proud first child of my parents. So yes, I'm an Ama, I'm Ayili, I'm a proud number nine. And of course, I'm also a proud Sadarian. As they say, the best come from the West. That's where I was born and bred. So before I came to Germany, of course. So yes, as you see today, I'm talking a bit more about my Ghana and I'm feeling Ghana more, but guys, I miss Ghana so much, you know? <sighs> I was in Germany till like 2016, so I, the first time I went back to Ghana, it was like after 12 years, and I was in my early 20s then, whew, I enjoyed Ghana so much, and I miss Ghana because when I was leaving Ghana, I was like a little girl, an adolescent, 12 year old, and most of the things I remembered about Ghana are the, the good stuff, you know, like the food, the music, the that freeness of life in Ghana, I really miss that a lot, a lot. I'm not even gonna lie, I miss that a lot. But I've become accustomed to the German life. I've become used to how things are in Germany. And I've realized that as an adult, I have to have a healthy balance. But let me just not bubble on too much. As you may see from the title of this video, I'm gonna talk about things that I miss about Ghana, okay? As, I'm, as you already know, I love Ghanaian music. I love Ghanaian music. And thanks to the streaming um, platforms, and I listen to a lot of Ghanaian music. Whew, I know everything from Ejewa to what? Um, Ophorian Ponsa's songs. I love Ophorian Ponsa. I love Ophorian Ponsa. I love Adilumba. I love um, Kojo Inchi. Yes. And when it comes to gospel, number one, Amy Newman. Yes, I said I'm from the West, so I have to give it to our queen. Amy, Amy Amber Newman. And that's the one thing that I miss about life in Ghana, like where you just have the music being part of your life and everything you hear people singing all the time. Oh, I love Ghanaian music and I love hearing it being performed to me live and I miss that here. So whenever I go to Ghana, I'm at the Afrochellas, I'm at the um the shows, basically I'm at I want to be at the shows and God willing, next time I'm in Ghana, I'm going to do more of these shows than before. I'm going to do more of these shows. I like, I miss having these musicians performing their crafts live for me to see. Because here in Germany, especially here in Stuttgart, who, when Ponsa came, we had Joey B, Joey B, we had to go to Berlin to see Joey B. Who else? I have to go all the way to London to see Kwame Eugene, Kiri, Isakede, Kwesi Arthur. <laughs> if you were sleeping latest by now, you wake up. Kwesi Arthur, I had to go all the way to London to see them. So, yes, that is one thing. Music and having the live performance. Like, basically entertainment as a whole. Entertainment as a whole. Entertainment made for me because I don't always relate to um, German stuff, but now I do. But when I was growing up, I was still missing Ghana, so I was really engrossed in Ghanaian entertainment, and I miss having that live performance, okay? I miss that. Numero dos would be, I miss, I miss Ghanaian food. Hey, Ghanaian food. Fresh Ghanaian food. From the fresh vegetables to the fresh fish, to even I mean miss the money, give me the money, I'll, I'll take it. Like I miss Ghanaian food, and of course we do go to Ghana. We bring stuff, and by the time you have defrost your stuff, the taste has become different. Okay, I miss fancy kinky, Whew. like the fresh, fresh, soft fancy kinky. I miss it. Hmm. I miss Sarah Lack. Hi. I miss Sarah Lack. Oh, guys, I need to show you. Yes, I miss my Sarah Lack. And the best, if you know, you know the best is Sarah Lack maze. Yes, maze. And then, and then, like, if you see my list, the things I sent to my mom to bring me from Ghana, 
moringa leaves, coconut oil, kube cake, black soap, shea butter, aloe vera plant or stem. My mom forgot it in Ghana because actually my friend's mom or my mom's friend, actually it works because our moms are friends and the daughters are friends as well. She gave me a whole plant, my mom forgot it, forgot to bring it and I got this from the African store for six euros and I'm about to treat this like my best friend because you know how like like the COVID mask is like making our skin react and everything and aloe vera is really good, free and full and I got um, some tutorials from Estalia Awoya, guys check out her channel Estalia Awoya, she gives you home remedies on how to use aloe vera so I'm really, and this is so soft, I think it's going to be really good, I'm from an afro shop, it's called Afro Fresh Ohage in Stuttgart open house so go check out her afro shop as well, she has fresh stuff, she also had avocado as well by the way so if you want to check her out, but Estalia Awoya, she has tutorials on how to use um, organic stuff to treat your skin better so yeah if you want to know how it turns out i can do a video on that as well because we are talking about life in germany right everything that concerns life in germany so yes so like i have i have a long list of things i need from ghana when it comes to food when it comes to fresh produce and all of that guys you you just miss that you just miss the freshly made palm nut soup we just miss the freshly made groundnut soup the freshly killed cow and everything like you can get them here but it's just not the same it is just not the same and how food is really available like food that you're used to watching I have to make watch by myself I have to wake up by like six so that I can eat it by nine the way I would buy it in Ghana you know Why? Why? so music and entertainment food number three one of the things I miss about Ghana is church life like hmm, i miss like waking up on sundays and going to church and feeling fulfilled and coming back home i don't have the same feeling in stuttgart and it was like that for a long time i think it's because i'm used to the church culture in ghana so when i go to ghana i don't mind doing it but when i'm here it just doesn't feel the same and even if i do online church service thank god for the online service that started during corona times because i was able to be joining um like church branches like in Accra and all of that doing Church of Christ service the way I grew up to know it singing the hymns like in Chi the way I, I grew up to know like I grew up knowing and singing so that's something I really really miss from Ghana like the church life and of course I don't agree with everything but home is home you know home is just home but one thing I love about Ghana and I miss about Ghana is how your clothes are always always custom made hey customized clothing like nobody has the same outfit like you they may have the same fabric but it is just not the same fit it is just not the same wear here if you don't go to h&m go to burning a lot like even when if you buy gucci there's somebody who wear the same gucci like the same thing the same size but if you get things done in africa Hmm. We get things done in Africa, guys. They are done to your taste. And ooh, just just look at these clothes I'm showing you. Made in Ghana, made in Tadi, made in Ghana, made in Tadi. You see, you see, you see. Because as I said, you might have the same fabric as me, but not the same dress. It is simply different. It is made for Phoebe and Phoebe alone. Okay. You can ask her to make you something similar. But not the same, okay? Okay, not the same. Just something similar, okay? By IJ Frank Clothing in Takrati. Guys, she ships worldwide. And we're going to be talking about us having me being one of her distributors in Germany as well. So if you need clothes by IJ Frank Clothing, you can just check me out on Instagram or check her out on Instagram. And then we can bring some nice clothes for you. But guys, check out her designs. For this alone, I will just move back to Ghana. At least every Sunday I have a new outfit.
so guys i've come to the end of today's video hope you enjoyed it if you have not yet subscribed please do if you love the outfits as i said go to ij frank clothing on instagram i have her link down below i have her telephone numbers also going right here or on the videos as well check her out and check me out on instagram as well show me some love either on the phoebe way or at phoebe and of course on Twitter as well. Let me know that you're watching, you're engaging with me. It's nice to see people actually contact me on Instagram. Please, as you're contacting, also follow, okay? Also follow and engage with my content. Thank you so, so much. Have a blessed Sunday and a blessed week ahead. Take care of yourselves. Stay hopeful, stay positive. Like too physically, be some nice and contact. Cheers.